Jim Hubot for Line I R and R, Rants and Raves. Well, can it get any more depressing than this tonight, Illini fans? The Illini getting blown out tonight at Michigan State by a score of 79 to 54. And uh, if you th had any thoughts about the Illini having a shot tonight without Denzel Valentine playing for Michigan State, well, <laughs> you can think again. Because when we got to the beginning of the game and heard that Kendrick Nunn was not going to be playing tonight, and not only wasn't he going to be playing, but he wasn't even at the game. He was back home in Champaign awaiting the birth of his son. Unbelievable. And I, I just, I can't remember. I mean, that's pretty rare that you ever hear that happening. But again, it's the Lion Eye and anything is possible with this team this year. So um, it was a rough one, no doubt about it. And uh, at the beginning of the game, again, when you heard that none wasn't going to be playing, you knew it was going to be a blowout, and sure enough, it was. Maverick Morgan got a start tonight because none was gone, and uh, also Khalid Lewis was back in this ball game after being gone for two games with the mumps. So he uh, was unquarantined finally, and he actually had uh, two or three pretty nice shots in that first half, but was really a non-factor in the game. And Illinois was down at halftime, 47 to 22. And you knew the route was on. Second half, it didn't get any better. Illinois was just outmanned and undermanned and uh, just didn't have enough depth on that team. Michigan State, even without Denzel Valentine, is a very good team. They've got a lot of talent on that team. And they're going to be a force, I think, for the rest of the year. But this game was very embarrassing, and the Illini just couldn't keep up. Their defense was horrible. Just not enough people on the court. So um, it was a tough one. Uh, even on the boards, they got killed again. It was 46-27, uh, Illinois getting out-rebounded. And Michigan State had 26 assists to Illinois' 7 assists. So every aspect of the game, I think Illinois just got massacred. Uh, now our next game coming up is Sunday against Purdue. And boy, we're going to go up against those big guys against Purdue, it's, that's going to be a tough one. That's at home Sunday at the State Farm Center. And uh, we'll talk to you again after that game. But the leading scorer tonight was Maverick Morgan with 15 points. But don't let that fool you because 11 of those points were at the free throw line. Malcolm Hill only had 10 points. They did a good job holding him down. And really everyone else in the game was pretty much a non-factor. So John Gross has got to go back to the drawing board and see what he can come up with, but it's it's going to be a tough season. Oh, Michael Thorne and Leron Black, we need you guys back and soon to give us some help. So uh, we'll talk to you Sunday after the game against Purdue. Talk to you later.